Hey everybody, Motorpola59 here. Well, I have some really, really sad news about a very untimely death. And that would be the death of Chaz slash Chop slash Chump slash whatever the hell it was called. It's dead. It's done. The mayor of Seattle finally figured out that this just wasn't working. And uh, if you've seen the video from the area, the pictures from the area, it's completely destroyed. Every single building in that entire uh, radius is completely graffitied over. Uh, hundreds, maybe thousands of windows broken out. Uh, streets graffitied. Uh, there's garbage everywhere tons and tons and tons of garbage. There were four shootings, two ended up in murders. Uh, there were rapes, there were multiple assaults. Uh, this is what happens when people try to police themselves. It doesn't work. The general population is simply not capable of doing that. They don't know how to deal with uh, critical situations. They don't know how to de-escalate anything. All these protesters and rioters uh, know how to do and knew how to do there in Seattle was make things worse, to escalate things, even among themselves. Uh, they finally sent the cops in. Uh, there were uh, about a dozen arrests made, I think. and uh, But most of the people just left and uh, tossed stuff and hurled insults and uh, did all the things that they say no one else is supposed to do. But it's done. I honestly and sincerely hope that these other cities, Portland, uh, so far is the only other one that's really letting this get out of hand. Uh, Minnesota, and I'm talking about the demonstrations, people taking over entire pieces of town. Seattle's the only one it's really happened to yet, but we've got all these other cities and towns talking about, uh, I did a deal about, uh, is defunding the police a good idea? Of course it's not. You can go back and look at that video if you like. But uh, most of the people aren't talking about defunding the police or abolishing the police completely. They want things done a little differently, and they want some of that money to go to different places and training. And I'm all for that, whatever. I mentioned in the video I did about cops or people, too, that uh, we really should be looking much more closely at who we take on as police officers. If a guy's uh, been getting bullied, or if a guy is a racist, and there's any indication of, of either of those at all, he should not be a cop. But uh, anyway, you can watch those videos. I'm just glad this thing is over, and I'm glad that even a city as liberal, as progressive as Seattle saw the folly in not allowing the police to do their job. I hope these other cities, Atlanta, Minneapolis, Santa Monica, Chicago, I hope these other cities follow suit and realize we do need police. We need them badly. We need more police. We need more training, obviously. Uh, probably not everywhere. Some some places are cops are pretty well trained. Uh, some less than others. I'm absolutely certain do we need to do a better job of hiring cops, do a better job of evaluating police on a regular basis. Absolutely. Don't wait until someone's been shot or there's been some sort of an incident. Make it mandatory that uh, police have to have a psychological evaluation every two years or every six months or every whatever. Uh, there are lots of ideas that I have. Hey, I just work for the railroad, so it's hard for me to judge what should be done with policemen, but obviously something needs to be done. There, 99.99% of cops are, are, are good cops. They're out there to help, but we can't afford to have the country continue to be torn apart by that one-tenth of one percent. We have to really, really make sure those people are not allowed to police the general public. But anyway, I'm glad Ch uh, Chaz is gone. I'm glad Seattle's come to their senses. Hope the rest of the cities do. If you're a liberal or a progressive, I hope you come to your senses too. Hey, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> 
and uh, shoot me an email at motopoet59 at gmail.com and let me know what you think. Uh, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content, and we'll see you all later. Maybe even in Seattle. Nah, I ain't never going back to Seattle. I'm just kidding. See ya.